So for today, we're going to be looking at the season pass. So this is fucking weird. I'm going to be honest with you guys, because when I first saw this, I was like, oh, no, they cut it up into pieces. No, but the way they did it is actually way better. I actually really appreciate it. That being said, I still haven't, I still haven't seen all of the rewards that we're getting. So I'm going to be seeing what this is going to be about. So the first thing you're going to be getting is Red Death Reformed, which is the new. I didn't know it was going to be the seasonal exotic. I'm very much happy about that because I'm going to be using it all the time now. <sighs> I'm excited to use it. This is the weapon I used to use a lot back in D1. So seeing this come back is definitely really making me happy. Um, we have some enhanced cores, upgrade modules, some stuff here and there. We have Echo Engram, which echoes gear which i still haven't seen the armor fully so i'm excited to see the armor Bright this right here reverse engram which i want to get a lot of these because they have a lot of cool shit most of the time if you're getting cool shit so let's go see the first thing final slice i think is super cool i'm excited to pick this one i love finishers and this one is right up there it's super super dope we have some more stuff over here. So the weapons is going to be reskins from Season of the Splicer, which I don't know how you feel about that. I Area Denial Frame. Burst Fire Grenade Launcher. Each projectile creates a lingering pool on impact. <gasps> no fucking shot. They made fucking... Oh, God. Okay. I can... Fu I'm... I'm ooh. Okay. That's cool as fuck. It still sucks that it's a that it's a reskin, but dude, I fuck with it. We have resonant entrance. Well, that's cool. So another reskin, ill omen. I like I. We always have reskins. Is this a vex themed thing? It must be vex themed. I didn't think it was vex themed. Oh no, wait. It doesn't matter. Unsated curiosity for the shader. Ooh, ooh this looks kind of fucking hard, dog. Is there this green? I fuck with this green hard. Okay, okay. I fuck with it. We have more bright dust. Did I skip any bright? Yeah, sprite dust here. So how much are we at right now? Five hundred, uh, six fifty. Oh, okay. At forty, you get uh, free to play players get red death reformed. Oh, and then an Enneagram, which I didn't see. Mental math. Yeah. We have some more stuff here. Bright dust. We get the shell, spectrum shell. I don't really care about this. Then we have more stuff here. So we get the new chroma cloak. Okay. So it's going to be... Um, it's gonna be this theme which i forget what it's called but it's like the flower looking shit from root of nightmare boots here chroma clock cloak strides wait is this gonna be armor that goes well with the exotic cloak because i can fuck with that hard definitely uh deep side harmonizer for 70 another one Ooh, cloak that's very shiny I'm not a big fan of the asymmetry, but at the same time, I kind of expect it. Um, chest piece at 90. I really hope you can change the color of a lot of this, but I doubt it. And then the helmet. Yeah, I'm going to definitely see a lot of emo fucking fashion from this. And then for level 100, it's going to be old blood, which I think this is just the regular ornament from d1 like the regular just how it looked by default which looks so cool <laughs> i'm so excited to get this and then another cool thing which bright engrams bonus unlock an additional bright engram reward for every 500,000 experience earned this bonus remains active when even when maximum rank for an act is reached which is really really cool really appreciate that now now we get to the main portion where i was like what the fuck is happening act two which is obvious i think at least I think Act Two is gonna be the um, the episode two and three, 
Episode two, we start off with an exotic cipher, which I don't really care for. More bright dust, and then untethered edge grips, which I don't know if this is from this um, episode or not. Which would be weird if they were selling it from this episode, because I know we're not having 83 days worth of this episode. But actually, no, yeah, we are. Oh shit! Hidden legendary reward. This reward will be revealed when the corresponding act begins. Okay. Synthweave template, yo. Okay, one. Okay, we'll see. One. We we have one so far, but hopefully they give us more than that. Wait, did I skip? How many did I skip? What the? Oh, because I went to Act Three. Um. So yeah, that makes sense then. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, for this armor to be here, which means that each at each uh not act but each uh episode will have Act One, Two, and Three, which gives us another hundred levels of just uh season pass which i think is really cool because you definitely will hit level 200 easily i mean not easily but you will hit it eventually interesting um the boots what is this ghost projection this looks way too cool to be a ghost projection fail safe reputation bonus oh so it's fail safe that's going to be behind that more bright dust, which you, you you love to see. This helmet. Ooh, that helmet kind of goes hard. Okay. Chest piece. We're definitely going to be reviewing all of the armor like we always do, so don't worry about that. More synth weave template. Okay, so that's two now. Oh. So they put the, the sparrow behind the... Or they put it in higher spot, which I don't really care for, to be quite honest. Uh, ooh, they put the... They put the the higher shader up here. Why does this look so cool though? That green is good. Purple, green, this like almost bone, like dusty look. It looks really cool. Oh my god. Oh, Red Death Reformed. Oh, so do they just give it to you? Hopefully they just give it to you because I'm tired of. No, they they give it to you, but then you still have to kill shit. Final blows charge this weapon. When the weapon is charged, the next final blow creates a healing burst at your location and leaves a remnant behind that provides restoration to allies. That's pretty fucking cool, actually. Um, the old switcheroo. Hmm. So three right there. So each one each for for a guardian or forever, whatever you want. Another bright dust, more bright dust. What is this? Prismatic entrance. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Then we have more fail safe stuff. Another shader, dope. Untethered edge cloak. I don't know how this one looks. Oh, oh shit. We're, we can be weebs. Let's go. Okay. I fuck with this one hard. Oh, dude, I'm excited to get this now. Especially, I want to see how this will look with the helmet that takes off the cloak. Because it will most likely either take the the helmet and this off. Or just leave it leave the helmet off. Either way, this looks pretty cool. I, can, I actually kind of fuck with it. We have shaders, which unpredictable liability. Which is kind of boring on this armor. But hopefully it looks really, really cool with other armor. Uh, another deep sight harmonizer, bright dust. The ship is right here. Polychroma. This doesn't look bad. It just feels like it belongs in um, in Root of Nightmare. More stuff that's hidden, adding flavor. That's funny. And then two hundred. So this is a cool thing. This helmet right here is a universal ornament for all the classes not just hunters so i think that's interesting that being said hunters be aware this takes your cloak off so if you are interested in that definitely get it um i definitely want to see it before i judge it because i do think it looks cool but it is also very unique in the sense that like if you don't combine it with certain pieces i don't think it's going to look good that being said i do think it's going to look cool with christmas armor because christmas armor is usually spiky so I'm really excited to pick this one up just to combine it with the Christmas armor. So that is your season or not season, well, season pass, I should say. This is your season pass. I'm really excited for the fact that we get to unlock additional levels, which is really cool. I like that idea quite a bit. 
Um, I don't know if people will like that. I definitely think it's cool because it gives me more things to do during the season aside from, you know, all the other things I'll be doing. But I definitely think it's really cool. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you... Ugh. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all for coming up to this point. Remember, we're going to be pushing out a fuck ton of content. We're going to be doing all of, I mean, to be fair, I've done three videos already and it's just the beginning portions of the expansion that I usually do like Eververse, Season Pass, uh, Week 1 Challenge and stuff. And then we're going to be doing the Pale Heart campaign, which I'm going to be doing it for all the classes, so Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. Plus, we're going to be doing the armor reviews. I want to get into making weapon reviews again. I know I say that almost every season but i really want to get into it again because i i'm tired of people telling me to use certain weapons when i'm like if it if i'm if i don't see something like immediate that i'm like oh this is really cool then i don't really give a slight shit so that i want to just give my two cents on on that so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later